Welcome. So we're still on elasticity. Let's consider the problem on the board. It says a wire is stretched by 8 millimeter when a load of 60 newton is applied. What would be the extension of a wire of the same material having four times the cross sectional area and twice the original length when one eighth of the load is applied? Okay, this question is actually simple. Okay, let's bring out the parameters that was, that was given to us. First, we have that a wire is stretched by 8 millimeter. So let's consider the first condition stretched by 8 millimeter extension of wire. Okay, stretching simply means extension. Okay, extension of wire, which is simply E, is actually 8 millimeter. So, of course, always convert your values towards meters. 8 millimeter to convert a millimeter to meter, simply divide by 1000 or multiply by 10 to the power of minus 3. So, we simply have this to be 8 times 10 to the power of minus 3. It becomes in meters. It's still the same thing as saying 8 divided by 1000. It will still give you the same value. Okay. Okay. So, next it says when a load of 60 newton is applied. So, load applied in the first condition F. The load is actually the force F and is given as 60 newtons. Okay. Then I says, um, what will be the extension of a wire of the same material? So let us analyze this first before we move to the second condition. From Hooke's law, okay, from Hooke's law, we have that force is actually what um, the spring constant and short extension from Hooke's law. This extension simply means stretching. Okay, we know the force. We know the extension, but we don't know the spring constant. So let's find this spring, uh, spring constant. This simply means that spring constant K is, of course, force all over what extension. The force divided by the extension gives us the spring constant. Therefore, K is now equal to the force was given us what 60 newtons. So you simply have 60 all over all over um, the extension. Extension itself is given as 8 by 10 to the power of minus 3 in meters. So you simply have 8 by 10 to the power of minus 3. So which simply implies that the spring constant itself, k, is now equal to, let's obtain this value, that gives us 7500 newtons uh, meters. So this becomes the spring constant. Okay? Now, question says, so what will be the extension of, of a wire of the same material having four times the cross-sectional area and twice the original length when one-eighth of the load is applied? So let's pick that condition. One-eighth of the load is applied. Now we have same material. Okay, that's the first condition. Same material. Same material simply means that if it is the same material, it means the spring constant is the same. So the spring constant remains the same since it's same material. So same material simply implies that K is also what 7,500 newtons per meter. That is what it means. Okay. So for same material, then the spring constant is the same. Also, we were given that uh, we are asked what would be the extension, okay, of a wire of the same length, sorry, of the same material having four times the cross-sectional area. Not important twice the original and also not important but then when one eighth of the load is applied so the particular load applied to this material now is one over eight of what the given load the given load is 16 newtons then the load applied now f okay load f in this condition now is simply one all over eight is simply one eighth of the load applied in the first material which is 16 newton because the material is still the same okay times 60. Of course, the material is still the same, so it means it has the same force constant. Now, the force applied to this material, now they are telling us that this same material, the force applied now is simply what, one eighth of the what original load applied, so it becomes one over eight of 60. So, which means a new force applied to this material now is actually equal to this becomes uh, 60, of course, 60 times one is 60 all over eight. So, we are going to obtain that force as. 
neutrin so this becomes the new load applied now so we have to find extension and from hooke's law okay from hooke's law we have that force is actually what k times extension the spring constant is the same it doesn't change it remains 7500 the new force applied now is known as what 7.5 newtons so we can simply make extens extension or stretching subject of the formula that simply means e becomes equal to what force divided by what um, k so you simply have f all over k so this particular material now will extend by what force is 7.5 K is 7500 so 7.5 by 7500 and that's equal to 0.001 in meter so this becomes the extension or the stretching of what this new material having one eighth of the force applied to it all right guys i hope you find this video very interesting and helpful please if you do um don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section and of course, if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button to keep getting updates when content such as this keeps dropping. Thanks and cheers.